y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to a Christmas video. I'm not even sure what to call it. So I will have a full home tour for you once everything's decorated. But I thought today it might be fun to just have you come along and decorate with me. We're going to be taking down everything that we don't need and putting up Christmas decorations. So we've got a couple trees, got a couple tables, got a couple islands. Only got one table. But just thought it would be fun to kind of show you what it takes to transform these main living spaces, my kitchen, my dining room, and my living room for Christmas. So if you're looking for the full home tour, I will link that down below. I will also link my full tablescape. But if you just want to come and hang out, listen to some Christmas music, and decorate my house, let's do it. Y'all going to help? They don't know how to help. <laughs> Well, still gotta get the trees out, but we got everything in the kitchen put away, dining room put away, the rug is in the wash. I always wash my rugs when I switch up the table. So if you wanna check out my how to wash your rug video, I will link that below. But now I think we're gonna go ahead and start decorating the kitchen um, so that we can put the big boxes away, start putting up our signs, taking down the Valentine's Day gnomes and signs that I have up. Technically, they haven't been up since last Valentine's Day. I just love them. So if I don't have any signs for a specific holiday, like I don't have any fall ones I've made recently, I just put my Valentine's Day signs up because I think they're cute. So let's get started. Christmas signs are going up. Christmas gnomes are going out. Got a whole box of trees. Oh man.
All right, y'all. I don't know if you noticed, but a little while ago I was opening all my cabinets where I keep my table runners and my placemats because I could not find my white runner that I used for this table for Christmas. Found the one from my island, but not this one. They're usually together. And that's because I forgot mom used it to wrap my gingerbread centerpiece last year. Also, I put the table on here sideways. Oh, that's going to be a minute. <laughs> We're going to go ahead, set up the table, move on to the trees. It is getting dark, so I apologize for the lighting, but I'm not going to stop now. We're going to keep going. <laughs> Tree's done. It got way too dark last night and I had to sit down to unpack each and every one of the Mary's Angels, but I got them up, got the tree topper on, got the tree skirt up, one tree down, second tree to go. Let's hit it. All right, nothing left to do but run the vacuum, wash the rug, and fluff the pillows that are being laid on. Y'all aren't supposed to be laying on all those pillows. <laughs> they think this is Princess and the Pea all the time. If there's pillow, I'm gonna lay on it. Either way, I hope you liked this video. It was fun just to kind of put on some Christmas music and decorate the whole house still have to do my bedroom, but I don't do much back there. Just a little tree and a few fun Christmas gnomes. So if you want to check out top to bottom, the whole house in detail, I will point out every single project that I have a tutorial for, as well as everything that I put up and kind of where to find it, if it's still available. I do a lot of thrifting and secondhand shops, so not everything is able to be found, but I will share what I can find I will link my Christmas home tour down below 
It will be up shortly. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm gonna go wash a rug. Bye. Can we fix the couch? Come on. Up and out. Or pretend. <laughs> Just pretend to move, guys. Come on. Shuggy, let's go. Let's go, Shug. Move it or lose it, love. Oh, doesn't even go on the couch. Goes on that. Shug. Come on, gnomes. To the bedroom. Okay.